Hi everyone, this is Jerome from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. And we have also started this series on tech class structures where we are guiding our viewers on how you can design the steel structure in tech class structures. So we have already completed the series on RCC detailing and now we are going all set to do the steel detailing and for that we have already modeled the column rafters and the foundations and now we are designing the connections between them. Okay, so what we are going to learn in this session, in this session we will learn about how you can make the connections between the column and the rafters. So. If you haven't watched the previous session, then you can go ahead and watch that on the YouTube channel of Civil Center. And if you are liking this video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so let's start. So guys, in the last session, we have discussed about the Apex Hunch and now we are going to discuss about the Eve's Hunch. So Apex Hunch was to connect the rafters and Eve's Hunch will be to connect the column to the rafter. Okay, so we are going to look for the eaves haunch over here or you can simply go with the shortcut of 102 and you will find eaves haunch over here now you have to select your column and then your rafter and you can see that eaves haunch is already modeled over here now if you want to lock any point in the class structure then you will have to simply press ctrl and r then you can just select a point and after that you can simply rotate your screen over here so this is a uh, like a connection that is being modeled in between the column and the rafter okay now we are going to modify it so we will just double click on our eaves haunch and then it will open up and you can see over here we have this picture and here we can set the dimensions quickly now you can set the height over here you can set the length over here like uh, suppose you want to set a length of 2000 okay so hit the 2000 and uh, then click on modify okay so it has been modified if you want to like make it 3000 then you can also do that so you have to just make the changes and click on modify and it will be modified okay so this is a very simple thing to do and you can also set the height like suppose you want to make it 3000 again then click on 3000 and you can set the heights but i would like to keep the default so i can simply delete all these things and i will keep it default okay now we have to go for the parts and over here you can just deal with the thickness width and the height okay and then comes the haunch profile so what kind of profile you want that you can simply select from here so in the haunch profile you can go ahead and look for any particular profile that is in your mind like in the eye profile you can choose the various profiles that are present over here and you can select any profile that you need and you can simply provide that or if you want to like uh, uh, one willing to look for some particular profile then you can also look for that one like over here we have chosen a profile of ismb 200 then we can also go ahead with that okay so like this you can just select ismb 200 suppose you want to look for this one then you have to simply search that over here and click on filter and in the i profile you will find that profile okay so here is ismb and then finally ismb 200 okay now click on apply and okay and you will see that the profile has been chosen over here next thing is the parameter so over here you can set the different parameters that you want you can also choose between all these parameters like if you want to modify it then you can see it has been modified like this or if you want to modify it like this one then you can also choose for that then if you want to stay with this one then you can simply modify it like this and it will stay like this okay so like this you can simply do the modifications in your parameters okay next thing is over here this one so even on this side you can choose the different parameters 
and do the modifications so you can see it is being modified on the left okay or if you want to keep it as default then you can also keep it as default okay next thing is the general where you can select the different axis like uh, plus minus y plus minus x and plus minus z and then the connection code then the auto default rule group whether you want none or you want it to be the factory reports so all these things can be modified from here then here is a little uh, different thing from the like uh, apex haunch okay so over here the selection of the bolt is the same okay so you can just go for like 16 or 20 mm dia bolts and then thread in mat everything is same over here then you can decide the number of the bolts that has to be fitted over here so you can see we have the four bolts over here now suppose you want to make it three then this three should be spaced at 200 so you can see this three will be modified like this okay so now we have just three bolts spaced at 200 or if you want to make it spaced at 150 then you can just modify it like this or if you want to make it four then you can see it can be modified like this okay now if we'll just uh, delete the spacing and click on modify then it will take the default spacing that it has okay next thing that we have over here is the vertic haunch okay so this was for the vertic rafter and now this is for the vertic haunch that means if here i will change anything this will change in this portion of the haunch okay so suppose you want to uh, like uh, instead of a single bolt that is see uh, like visual over here you can go for the multiple bolts like uh, suppose i want to make it two and click on modify so you can see it has been modified to two over here okay so like this you can do the modification or if you want to just keep it one then you can keep it one because one is needed over here that is more than enough in this case now uh, like the previous session i have explained about the design and analysis over here you can also just uh, provide the external design using the excel or you can just uh, skip the portion or you can keep it as default and then you can provide the external loading like the udl and do the analysis over here okay so guys in this session we have learned about how you can provide the connection between the column and the rafter and we have used the application number 102 that is eve's haunch we have learned how you can modify all these things and if you want to learn more about the steel structure and detailing in tecla structures then you can stay tuned with this series and if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and guys if you want to start your career as a consultant then you will find a free webinar in the description go ahead check that webinar and you can book a free strategy station with us till then take care bye bye